Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, the Grand Sport is sitting pretty underneath its car cover. It's still basically the spring winter mix here in Wisconsin, salt on the roads and whatnot. So she's gotta stay put for a little while longer. But as you can see on the hood here, I got a bunch of cool little things sitting out. And what I'm gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna go over all the neat little pieces of uh, memorabilia on that that I got with my 1996 C4 Corvette Grand Sport. So stay tuned. See guys, this is why we can't have nice things in Wisconsin. All right, well, with that said, I uh, no more weather reports. I know we have sucky weather here in Wisconsin and the rest of you guys in the country can enjoy the spring a lot earlier than we can here. But until winter decides to go away and we get the salt off the roads, unfortunately, the Grand Sport's gonna have to sit here in the garage under the car cover. So since all we can do right now is look at the Grand Sport, I figure the best video I can make right now is going over all of these cool little items that you see on the hood here, which of course were the items that were supplied with the car from the previous owner or owners. Now, of course, I did get it through the dealership. I never really you know, talked to the owner uh, directly at all. It was just all through the salesman and everything like that. But this is the majority of everything that uh, came with the car. Actually, I think it might be all of it, but you know what I'm saying. So um, obviously these are you know, all the little pieces of memorabilia and stuff like that that the previous owner or owners had you know, accrued and kept with the car. Some cool stuff here. And of course, as you guys are aware, the coolest piece that came with the car, of course, is this awesome car cover. Now I did cover in my last video, this was, was uh, from Mid-American Motor Works. Um, I'll probably drop the link in this video again too. But as you know, as I talked about in the last video and probably a couple other ones, awesome fitted C4 Corvette car cover. Um, obviously made for the Grand Sport, which is why I'm very happy to have it and pull it off and pretty much looks exactly the same underneath. So this is definitely probably my favorite thing that came with the you know the Grand Sport when I got it. Obviously, it's my, my my favorite thing. I mean, you know, I get to look at it six months out of the year and everything like that, as do you guys, unfortunately. But yeah, so that is you know my favorite item that came with, it. and of course, this right here is the storage bag that it uh, you know goes into when you're not using it. You just kind of roll it up real nicely. It's made of the same fabric and everything. It can be a nice little. Uh, you know, storage bag in the meanwhile, but I'll put that over there. Um, yeah, so of course, the car cover, coolest thing that I got for this car. All right, now, so we're going to be here more towards the, you know, the front of the car, obviously, because I want to show you the guys this. Now, this is the, um, this is a, uh, well, again, it's a, another uh, Mid America Motor Works uh, item. This is a clear front license plate cover as you can tell hasn't been used yet it's, it's still sealed in the bag so i have i have no idea you know how old this is or whatever but i don't i don't actually need this because if i can get under here as you guys can see and in a previous video that i did when i first got it i do have the white you know actual license plate insert for the car which uh it's actually kind of, I don't know if I explained it in that video, but that's where this would go to, you'd put your license plate underneath and then this cover kind of keeps the contour of the front. But I did get this um, color matched uh, license plate insert cover. Uh, the previous owner did actually have it. He forgot to put it in the car. Um, he forgot to put it in the car, I should say when I went to pick it up with all this other stuff and it was mailed up to me um, and I was able to put it on the car because that's something, as you saw in my yellow Corvette video, that was something and I gotta clean the cover up a little bit, little, little dirty, but I love how the C4 Corvettes look with that plate insert. Now this one here, if I can grab it, will actually provide a very similar look, but in those states that are super super particular 
about you guys having a visible front plate and you don't want to do the uh, you know the windshield thing that a lot of people complained about me doing. This is your solution to that. You keep the nice contour of the car, but you can still see the license plate through. So, but I'm not going to be using this because I like that actual filler plate. So, this was still cool to have though. Gives you options, and as we all know, options are always good. All right. So obviously, there's a few more things that I'm not going to go into super detail about everything but for those of you that uh, should not be surprised this is of course the uh, you know the original owner's manual and whatnot and uh, we got a uh, little like pen style flashlight I don't know if that was original or not but you know the books here you know it's in pretty good decent shape you know kind of taken care of along with everything else in the car you know and overall this is an oh look at that I didn't notice that actually says Corvette on it. So this, this might in and of itself be <laughs> a little bit of a collector's item. I didn't even notice that before, but that obviously is not anything super special. So should be expected. Uh, not really much else I can tell you about this other than the fact that this is the, <laughs> the 1996 Corvette owner's VHS manual or whatever you want to call it. So I actually have not tried to play this. I believe that you can actually find it on YouTube, but eh, maybe we'll do this. I'm not entirely sure. So, but that is that. And it of course came with the case and there's a, there's a booklet in here. So that's cool to have. And this of course is the original window sticker. Now this is definitely way up there on the coolness factor because you know, just, just having this alone, you know, this was sitting in the window, most likely, of the Corvette when it was at the dealership or whatever, you know, wherever it was gotten, you know, this, this was sitting up here, you know, back in 1996 or 1995, technically, whenever you were able to actually get one of these, sitting in the window right there. So this obviously is a very high priority Cool thing to have, let's put it this way. And much related to that is, of course, this. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure where these came from. It could be something you can get. I don't know, I haven't looked, but it uh, might be Mid-American Motor Works as well. Not entirely sure. I know there's a, you know, I've seen it for other cars and stuff like that. But this is the, you know, I guess, I don't know what you call it, but the, uh, you know, the data tag or whatever. This is all the codes for exactly how this car was built and specifically the options that it has, you know, the RPA, RPO codes or whatever, you know, I, I did a video about that a while back too and stuff, but this is what you would find, you know, inside the car with all the different codes telling you, you know, what it is, what it's got, you know, special package Z16. So I'm sure some of you guys would be looking at this right now and know exactly what all that stuff means. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that particular about it, but it looks like, and uh, if I can get the shadow off of this, charge code to Feld Chevrolet. And uh, yeah, so I guess this look, this right here looks like this is where the car was originally gotten, you know, so obviously shipped to Feld Chevrolet in Bridgeton, Missouri. So yeah, that is also a very cool item to have with this car. So I guess this is the point where we should talk about this. <laughs> so, oops, now this is not a Corvette specific item. I would almost guarantee you, I actually found this underneath, like kind of like the side of the, uh, I think it was on the side of the passenger seat. So I'm, I'm gonna go under the assumption that the previous owner probably didn't mean for this to be left in the car. <laughs> So what this is, I can only surmise is that, you know, obviously it's a skunk hat. And for those of you that are aware, there was a old Corvette that was nicknamed the skunk. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I think it might've been a 63, but I'll throw a picture up here in, in the video and, and show you what I'm talking about. My understanding of it is the Grand Sport, because of the stripe, over <laughs> the white stripe and the dark color, this was to some degree nicknamed the skunk or from something else I've seen, the bleeding skunk, which is kind of weird. But I, I think it has something to do with 
there was a uh, road tour, may still be, of um, like Corvettes in the Smokies or something like that. And there was a group or skunks in the Smokies or, you know, something, something along those lines. But this is, <laughs> I, my guess would be the previous owner wore this when, uh, when they were out doing that road tour or something like that. Or they just wanted to have something fun. And, uh, yeah, so that's probably two minutes of your life about a skunk hat that you won't get back. But, hey, <laughs> that is what it is. All right, so next up is some of this paperwork here and that. And uh, this was my, again, assumption is this was something that came with the car when it was originally purchased. It was might have been a dealer brochure package or everybody that got one, you know, got a Grand Sport, got this. Not entirely sure on that, and I really honestly haven't taken the time to do the research on that. So those of you that know, you can leave comments down below. But this was the, the book that was in there, and this is pretty cool. Now, it, I think this is just like one of the dealer brochures about the Grand Sport Corvette. And, of course... It goes through all of the different, you know, like that. That the, for those of you that don't know, the red interior that's the one you want at a Grand Sport. That is the rare interior. But you know, this would have been the thing that was sitting on the shelf at the dealership. You know, they have those now, even but not as many as before. But you can go sit there, and well, it looks like it covers the collector's edition too. But my guess is this is all about the uh, the 1996 model year and. You know, the Grand Sport and the Collector's Edition. Ooh, that's pretty. You guys would uh, kind of familiar with that color. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to not go through everything in here, but this gives you the rundown of the special editions and all the Corvettes, that beautiful LT4 engine, probably uh, the cool, unique uh, cutting-edge designs for 1996. And all the different stuff that you can get. The colors, which is kind of cool. That, that's pretty neat. Uh, Admiral Blue Metallic for the Grand Sport, of course. And then, uh, yeah. So, this is kind of cool. Uh, I love the artwork on the front. That, in and of itself, is uh, it's pretty neat. So, probably could frame that, and that would be very nice. And then along with that, there was a couple items here that I think, you know, were just kind of pulled from different sources. Not exactly sure what this is, but uh, let's see. Sports Cars Group number 74. So back in the day, some weird stuff like this were like subscriptions where you'd get be able to put a binder together and, you know, see all the different stuff about specific cars and stuff like that. So never got into that myself, but cool to have. And then, of course, we have the, uh, it looks like this is might be another dealer brochure or something like that um looks like we got a couple of those so about four of those and then i'm not exactly sure what this is but looks like something about a, a recall and then of course this is the uh, breakdowns of all the different variations of the grand sport corvette and as you can see based off of this highlight, it looks like we are one of 190 six-speed coupes with the black interior and the Z51 suspension. And what are you doing out here, young man? Huh? Yeah. You're ruining my video, but you're probably going to give me views if I keep you in. Yeah, you're not supposed to be out here in the garage. Why, why are you out here? Get back in the house. Huh? I'm trying to make a video. Get back in. Go. Cool. Get back in the house. Get back in the house. All right. And then on this last one here, um, this, of course, is the breakdown of all the different variations of the uh, Grand Sport Corvette and their numbers of how many were made. And, uh, of course, because we don't have the red interior, <laughs> we're not going to fall under this category down here. But for coupes with the black interior, which are the two kind of major you know differentiating is that you know the coupes and the core um <laughs> coupes and corvettes the um the coupes and the convertibles and then you had the red interior and then the black interior are kind of the uh you know one of the big differentiating points but 
you know, as you can see, you could look at all this and get a breakdown of all the different variations. And uh, right now, and that's not gonna change obviously, but as you can see, we are one of 190 six-speed coupes with the black interior and the Z51 suspension. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So not only is the Grand Sport itself a one of a thousand, which is probably a lot less now because I know some of them have been wrecked. We are one of 190 in this specific configuration. Now, if we had the red interior, yeah, this one here, the red interior with the Z51 suspension, we would be one of 86. Now, if you wanna know the ones that are really, really rare, it looks like on here, the one that you really wanna have is the six speed with the red and black interior in a convertible and have the FE1, uh, or is that FE1, FE1 base suspension. There were only 11 of those produced. So probably not the coolest one you could get, you know, with the base suspension, but definitely the rarest one. But as you, as you can see with the breakdown, there were uh, 810 coupes and 190 convertibles. And of those 190 convertibles, 53 had the red interior. And with the coupes, 217 had the red interior. So that is your big differentiator there. Convertible, red interior, that's the one you wanna get. But hey, whatever. One of 190, not too bad. Only, only about 20% of the Grand Sports that were made were made exactly like the one that I have. All right, another cool thing that I have here uh, for the Grand Sport, this didn't come with the Grand Sport, but I actually got this like <laughs> maybe a couple weeks after I picked it up because um, there was a uh, acquaintance, I'll put it this way, that I had that uh, had a whole big collection and I happened to see this on a shelf and told him about it. And uh, he actually, he said, yeah, go ahead and take it. I got enough of these things. So after I got the, the Grand Sport, he uh, he gave this to me. And this, of course, is a little one of the uh, Maizzo, uh little model cars. And, you know, this is 1996 Corvette Coupe. It's pretty darn close. It doesn't, you know, it's not exactly the Grand Sport. It's just the paint job, but it's pretty much just a regular, you know, C4. It doesn't have the, you know, the fender flares and stuff like that. But, you know doesn't have the uh, red engine underneath but I just thought this was you know kind of a cool little neat item you know the back the back glass you know pops up just like it does and I believe this part pops out which <laughs> is exactly exactly how it does in the car and I, I, I think the uh, yeah so I don't know if you guys can see that very well but the steering wheel you know doors open and the steering wheel actually turns the wheels and I think you know you can kind of see the little suspension and stuff like that. So I just thought that was kind of a little cool thing to, you know, throw in the video here and show you guys, which, you know, it was kind of, you know, kind of neat. You know, the guy I got it from didn't have to do that, but he was like, oh, here you go, man. I got one of these, you know, that was pretty cool because I pointed it out and I showed him, I'm like, hey, you know, believe it or not, I literally just went and picked one of these up, you know, <laughs> a, a real one. So now I got the little, little tiny model and the full size one. So probably gonna maybe keep that with the car not sure I know that uh, it was cool to get that so all right guys so I figured before I wrap up this video we're gonna give this guy a shot and see if this actually works so as you guys can see I have the uh, TV this little combo old combo VCR TV thing that I've had laying around for a long time we're gonna put this thing to good use so Let's see if this works. I don't know why that light's on, but oh. Are we getting something? Yeah, let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, there we go. Ah, too far. Let's go back and play. Play. There we go. All right, look at that. It works. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Audio, uh, audio only works on the 
uh, the headphone jack. Hang on. All right. Modern problems re require modern solutions to the aux jack. Let's try this over. See if it works. Still no audio. Come on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. So well, when, now we know the VHS ta tape works for sure. That's <laughs> hopefully this music doesn't get a copyright strike, but whatever. <laughs> Is that not about one of the most '90s things you've ever seen? Hello, I'm David Hill, the Corvette chief engineer, and I'm sorry about the frame rate. Everyone here at Team Corvette Engineering and at Chevrolet. I'd like to thank you for choosing Corvette and assure you of our commitment to your satisfaction. You are very you welcome, know, sir. Been with General Motors. All right, let's see what else we got. Ah, oh, look at that. Sitting with the Grand Sport. So, oh, Grand Sport. <laughs> Abilities of your Corvette. Next, members of the Corvette engineering <laughs> team. This is awesome. Major technical so. highlights for 1996. There's the LT4. Followed by feature operation, which provides step-by-step -step instructions on the use of key. So I did watch the, uh, somebody had ripped this on, uh, on YouTube and I did watch some of it and, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting and it's fun. So I don't know if you guys want to watch a, uh, you know, well, let's see what we got here. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. To win races, you need both power and the ability to control it. Yes, you do. <laughs> Car like Corvette. All right. Well, anyways, on that note, so, well, let's see if we can even, if it will come out. That's always a thing, too, if your tape will eject, so. Come on. There we go. All right. And is it stuck? Nope. So, all right, well, there you go. The uh, 25, 26 year old, whatever we're at right now, VHS tape in a TV that's <laughs> probably about the same age. I wouldn't be surprised. But, anyways, if you guys would like to see a video, maybe I could do a live stream or something where we can sit down and we could watch this thing together. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. I think that would actually be fun to do. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm going to put that on the schedule. So anyways, if you guys want to see this VHS tape in its entirety and we can do some commentary and, you know, fair use it kind of thing, let me know. I think that would be fun to do. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video going through everything that came with my 1996 C4 Corvette Grand Sport. This VHS tape still works and it's playing pretty good. This TV still works and the VCR still works. So that's a win-win-win in my opinion. But anyways... <laughs> <laughs> with all that said, I made a little bit of a mess back here, but that's everything that came with my 1996 C4 Corvette Grand Sport. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff that all us YouTubers ask you to do. It helps the channel, and uh, again, hopefully I'll have some good content when spring rolls around. We can actually take the Grand Sport out for a drive again. But until then, it's going to stay under the cover, look pretty here. I thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care.